If you want to display beautiful code like this on your website, then this is the video for you. The thing is, if you want to display some HTML code, like I'm doing it right here, you cannot just paste it into your editor because then it will get rendered as HTML. This is why you need to make sure when pasting your code, you paste it into your visual editor. Because if you paste it into the visual editor, what's going to happen is it's going to be translated into these Unicode characters so that the HTML tags inside won't get rendered. You want to make sure that you also paste in all the white space, right? This you can do by putting your code into a formatter like this. It's going to format it for me and make, sh make sure all the white space is in there. Same thing goes for JavaScript. You can paste it in here and it's going to format it so that you have all the white space in there. And what you now want to do is wrap your code that you paste in the visual editor in a pre-tag. The pre-tag is similar to the code tag in the sense that it changes its content to a monospaced font. However, the difference between a pre-tag and a code tag is that a pre-tag would render all white space and all characters that are inside it. A code tag will often just get rid of all your white space, which is not what you want for code, incidentally, whereas the pre-tag will keep all your white space. Now, once you did this and you inserted it into a pre-tag, it's going to look something like this. It's not beautiful yet, so what can we do to make it better? But first of all, there is a very nice plugin for WordPress called Code Prettify. Now, I don't think this is being actively developed at the moment, but it's a very simple plugin that just does some styling change to your pre-tags, which will cause it to look like this once you activate it. So as you can see now, we have some syntax highlighting for our HTML code as well as for our JS code, which already looks very nice. However, there's one more thing we can do, which is to give our pre-tag some CSS. So you can now go ahead and paste in your the CSS that I provided in the video description. So what this will do is, let's take a, take a look at what we did here. First of all, we set our overflow to auto and our width to 100%. Also, we set the white space to pre. Now what this does is, let's let's remove the white space. So, yeah, as you can see, what this does is it causes lines to not con collapse into multiple lines, and instead it will stay in one line, and we will get a scroll bar to scroll through the code. I think this is the best way to style this, because you do not want these script tags, let's look at it again, you don't want those to get broken into multiple lines, in my opinion. Now, this comes down to personal preference, but this is how I want to see it on my website. When I have one line of code, I want it to stay on one, one line, and I want to be able to look at all of it with this scroll bar. But with since we're using overflow auto and not scroll, if the, if the content doesn't actually overflow, we get no scroll bar. Now also I've added a border to make, to really make the code separate from the rest of the text added some paddings to make this box look better. And also I gave this box that I created a background. And this, if you ask me, is the best way to show code on your website. It works great if you have very long code since you get the scroll bar and it works all the way down as well. If you are displaying a lot of code in these boxes, a good idea is also to set a set height. And with the set height, you will get a scroll bar if the content exceeds the height of the box. If I wanted something like this, what I would type in is height, let's say 100 pixels. As you can see, now I have 100 pixels for each of these boxes, and I can scroll through them. OK, so this is how you show your code beautifully on your website. I hope you learned something, and see you next time.